We are gonna make a Baby Yoda sculpture and turn it into a toy puppet thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. This is just a rough that we can then uh, work on the details after. Okay, so Baby Yoda's using his force powers to communicate to me to tell you guys to click the like button and subscribe and hit that bell. Weird. So first we just have to become sort of an expert in Baby Yoda. And with me, that starts off with doing some design, some sketches, so I'm taping four pieces of white printer paper together and I'm opening up my MacBook and typing in Baby Yoda and bringing up a whole pile of images. I'm gonna pick one that sort of best um, shows me Baby Yoda and I'm gonna start sketching and trying to figure out like how close are the eyes together, how long is the ear, you know, compared to the mouth, you know, what about his little cute baby chin? Uh, oh, speaking of cute baby chins, here's baby Sophie just peering in, seeing what I'm up to. She went to the other room and started to draw a baby Yoda herself on a piece of paper. Okay, so this is just the side view. So when you're working on the sculpture, um, you're always turning it left and right to see if it uh, matches up to baby Yoda, who is our, uh, um, we're gonna make the toy puppet out of. And so here's just a little chin. I'm just sort of working through the design, just becoming an expert in it in a sense. So that when I start to sculpt, um, I'm just not working from Nothing. This thing's just sitting off to the side. Okay, so I just found this old um, light thing. I'm just going to chop it up. Uh, I always like to build a, a base to the sculpture, so I'm not using up, like, all the clay in the world. Uh, so let's get out the duct tape, which I use a lot if you guys have watched any of my videos. And I'm just sort of making a spot for the eyeballs to go. Sometimes they start off with a box. My eyeballs will be uh, played by styrofoam balls today. And I'm just sort of putting them in there. That seems to work. Let's just duct tape those bad boys in there. And here we go. There's our little skull for Baby Yoda. Now, I'm using Crayola clay that doesn't dry, which is fantastic. I run out halfway through the video, and you'll see me working with some dollar store clay, which I do not recommend. It's just brittle and falls apart in your hands. So I'm just sort of like building up around the eye and between the eye. Very simple stuff. You don't have to be, you know, not... You don't have to put too much detail into it. Uh, also some duct tape, which is always good. I love my duct tape. Um, I actually bought real duct tape. I'm gonna show it like duck, like like quack quack, like a duck uh, later, which I usually don't. I usually buy just like the cheap dollar store stuff, which seems to work. Okay, this is the cheap dollar store stuff, which is horrible. But I ran out of the Crayola stuff, which is again, amazing. I'm not sponsored by Crayola, but hey, I will take a sponsorship because I love that product. Um, okay, so I'm using the cheap stuff again, just sort of building up where the nose is gonna go and the mouth for little cute baby Yoda. Uh, it doesn't matter what color you use for this process because we're gonna make a reverse mold once the sculpture is complete. Um, so this is called the positive, or the cute little mouth. And uh, so this is the positive and then you make a mold. I'll show you how to do that as well in video two. Uh, now this stuff is from the dollar store as well and it can be used. It's really soft and it's called light clay and it's good for a cheap way to build up a lot of um, space on your sculpture. So I wouldn't want to be using all my Crayola just building up the back of the head. So I'm using this cheap stuff and it feels like, I don't know, you know those like really cheap soccer balls that you get at the dollar store, really squishy? It's like that and when it dries out, it, uh, it feels like that but it's good for filling up space and it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Um, so I'm just using all of, the, I bought I, like all of the stuff from the dollar store. Um, I, I actually halfway through this video will admit I went to Walmart and bought more of the Crayola stuff because I was sick and tired of working with poor clay. Um, that almost feels like a marshmallow, honestly, that one. And tastes like one too, no it doesn't, it tastes horrible. Not that I took a bite. I won't admit to that, but... Um, okay, so here's the chin, and yeah, looking good. So I'm just building the back of the head. That's the good stuff, my friends. The Crayola modeling clay that doesn't dry out. It's fantastic. It says it's non-toxic, which is great. We're gonna build the eyebrows around the eye. Squish in there, good, 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 build up. He's got this weird ridge, not weird. It's, I think it's based on Yoda, so uh, like on the in between his eyes up high. There's a ridge there, and he's got big eyebrows as well. So we're just building up the clay. Now we're gonna go to the galvanized wire roll from the dollar store. I think I paid $1.50 for this, 
and we're going to use this to uh, make a structure so the ears don't, don't fall off once you start adding uh, clay to it because it's going to get heavy. So we're just going to uh, straighten this out. A lot of times I use a wire hanger, but I'm having a hard time finding those things at the dollar store. So everyone's going plastic nowadays, and those are my go-to, but this stuff isn't too bad as well. It's a little easier to manage. You can bend it. See, it's very easy to bend. If this was a, uh, a hanger, it would take uh, more effort. So maybe I'll just go with this from now on. It seems to do the job, um, but I do have to... Uh, I put some cardboard on it just to reinforce it, where with a wire hanger, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, it's got a lot of strength to it. But I probably would have done this step anyways because we're going to hang clay off of it. We're going to push the clay into the cardboard. So I'm just drawing the ear out with my pencil. And then I'm just going to chop off the ear. And once we get this design that we're happy with, we're, we're going to test it in a second, we are then going to copy this. So we're just going to draw it onto a piece of cardboard and cut out a mirror image of it. So there we go. Let's see one more piece to cut off here. As you can see, you can see my Crayola stack there and the cheap stuff you don't want to buy um, on the left there. That stuff is not good clay. Uh, yeah, do not go to the dollar store for your clay needs. I, I go to Walmart, it's cheap. I think it's like two, three dollars or six dollars for a bigger pack. Here's the duct tape. I just bought that because I always say duct tape, but I usually don't use that product. I usually just use the dollar store stuff, which is seems to work fine. Um, I don't know why this stuff is brown. Have you guys used this before? Are you guys a big fan of the duct tape, the quack quack? All right, so let's put the ear on. And as you can see, the wire goes across the top of the head and onto the other side, which we now have to put some duct tape on. Duct tape. Usually I say duct with a T. This is duct tape. Um, all right, so we are going to just rip off that little piece of steel there and get the ears to the right angle for Baby Yoda. All right, now we're gonna start to build up the top of the head over where the wire is. So it just, it really solidifies the ear on the head. Ears, two ears. All right, so we're just gonna use some clay across the top. Again, color doesn't matter because we're gonna do a reverse mold of this. This is the positive. We're gonna make a negative and then we're gonna pour stuff into the mold and make our positive again. So we can use different materials for that. We can use a silicone or we can use liquid latex um, and you can make multiple baby Yodas once you have a negative. All right, so here he is here. Let's build up the nose. Now, what I was finding is building up the mouth a bit and the cute little baby cheekbones, uh, baby muscles in there. Um, what I was finding is I was more inspired when it was actually green. So, um, so I start using green just to make it look more and more like Baby Yoda, but it doesn't matter, guys. Use any color you want. This is just for me just to uh, make it look more like him. And I was going through all my green, so... Um, so I'm just working on that lip, which is sort of pronounced. There we go, just building that up. And a lot of times with clay, you just want to roll up a little, like a little roll and, and use the rolls to apply it. Here's the cheek there. I'm just trying to make it look rounded and cute. Now again, guys, this is a rough. And I'm gonna, the next video, we're gonna refine this and try to make it more and more like Baby Yoda. I know it doesn't quite look like him yet, um, but it will. So I'm just using this little tool that I got in my little Crayola pack to push into the corner of the eyes. And the eyes don't matter for now as well because in the, we're gonna go, uh, this is the positive, then we're gonna go to the negative. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna have the circles, like the shape, uh, the reverse of it, and then we're gonna work on the eyes later. So now his little cute little chin, get that in there. And he's starting to come alive a little bit for me as I'm working on this. Once you get that chin in there, he's starting to look like a baby. It's really, it's cute. Um, it's a little too pointy for my liking right now, but I'm going to, again, we're going to refine this, guys, when we're done this rough model. Um, so it's starting to look a little Yoda-ish. Uh, I'm finding it's a little um, bigger than baby Yoda would be in real life, uh, but we need, um, who knows, who knows? If I get enough views on this, maybe I'll make a, an you know, exact little tiny baby Yoda. Um, but it's easier to work on stuff when it's bigger. Um, I find anyways. So there we go, we're just building up the ear. And I'm just, just sort of, I'm trying to save the clay here and really pushing it in and trying to stretch it and pull it so I'm not using too much on it because I was running out of green. And uh, so we're just gonna fill this up. But yeah, I, it's cuter when it looks green. It could be any color again. 
Um, have you guys done a reverse mold, like a positive, negative, positive before? Um, comment below. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. I've done it quite a few times. So there we go, guys. So there's our rough. This is video one. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up and a s subscription, and I will uh, release uh, video two as soon as possible. Um, so guys, thanks so much for watching. Please comment below.